People want to know what it's like to be me, but which half him or I? The half I always have to fight so I control my own mind. He's the half of me that isn't me, the one no one really knows. He's another, but that never really shows. And if he's in control, I lose my productivity. Of course, there's a solution for that. It's the pills that keep me sane, the ones that put me in control of my own brain. But if you know the same poison killing him, first I lost his imagination, trade it for determination, next to go was creativity, but it was worth ditching the insanity, then full force the anxiety, now I'm full of worries of this cursed gift, am I really worthy? But I can't let him in control, he's so stupid he might forget to breathe, he gets distracted by anything, a pin drops in a school assembly, and of course he points it out to me. His constant thinking makes me dizzy, he never stops pondering and wondering, mind racing, can't hit the brakes, he makes the simplest mistakes, and it's his mistakes that hurt me, because I have to claim responsibility, he never seems to care what he did to him or her, the people he hurts, so long he skirts, will I make up the work, take the blame, head my head in shame, everything he does gets pinned on me, because we share an identity. He's the half I can't control, the one that makes me never feel whole. They expect great things from me, but how can I change the world on the biggest obstacle is myself? Always him or me locked in a cell, watching the other go alone. Why can't we share control, never live in harmony, can't coexist peacefully? When I don't take the medicine, he talks in the third person. How poetic. The other half of my identity refers to me as a separate entity. But without him, who is me? Who am I really? Am I just the product of a pharmacy? I mean, I need more pills just to sleep. Am I who I am supposed to be? Or is he supposed to be me? Am I an invader in my own mind? Who am I really? The carefree one that fell behind or the drug-created prodigy? But how can I justify setting him free? He's always so emotional. Attempt suicide like YOLO, but of course that goes away too. I wish the happiness and pride would go. No blue skies or yellow daisies. It's all just gray. What's worse than that, though, isn't it? Without him, I never try new things, no, and of course that makes it hard when all my peers are getting cars and I can't even sit in the driver's seat without having a panic attack. Can't go to new restaurants, always go to the plain, same places as a shop. Who am I really, the daring and the reckless or the anxiety? Will I be remembered as a visionary or a tragedy?